Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. We are going to use fabric and lace scraps today and we're going to make these fun little, um, little dangles with this little item which is called a ribbon crimp. And so, um, yeah, let's get going on that. I forgot one thing here. Let me grab it. Um, one of the things you're going to need is one of these, um, these uh, needle nose pliers sort of things. So um, let's say hi and hugs and then uh, we'll get started. Hi and hugs to Amanda, Jody, Samantha, and Pam. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, I wanted to show you these a little closer. Um, so it's just layers, layers of lace, layer of fabric scraps. Um, and then this one has a little bulb pin and button. This little one is so cute. It's just tiny, tiny little scraps that you know you might you might think oh those I just might as well throw those away no no don't do that um this one's a little different that must have come from someone else here's another little one with just just a variety of bits and pieces on it here's a teeny weeny little one isn't that cute so like on the top of a tag or something like that, like here I've got a tag, you know, just dangled from the top of a tag with um, a bulb pin or something. You could, you could even do a bigger one, but they're really fun to have. And they have, um, they're sort of a forgotten friend too, as I was mentioning yesterday because I really haven't done this in forever. But they're so much fun to play with. They really are. I'll just show you my little stash of them. Isn't that cute? I forget about these. I've got to, the other thing you can do is like hang them on the outside of a cover. That looks cool too. This is as much for me as it is for you. Look at that little crocheted piece hanging on there. Isn't that cute? So, I don't know. I didn't grab any crochet. Yes, I did, too, grab some crocheted pieces. Might have to grab some buttons. So, so yeah, and this one has, like, more of a dangle on it with a, more of a jewelry dangle, too. So... Yeah, that's what we're doing today is ribbon crimped dangles, scrap dangles. I don't know, what should I call them? <laughs> I, guess, I guess we'll have decided when we put this video up, huh? Okay, I'm going to just tuck these back away and we will get started playing. I'm excited. I have not... Like I say, I haven't done this in a long time, and so I'm overdue, overdue to play with these. Okay, so I have a little, for this little thing, full of ribbon crimps. So this is what they look like um, otherwise. You can find them in the jewelry department of like Joann's or someplace like that, I'm sure. Amazon has them too, but they're ribbon crimps, C-R-I-M-P-S. <coughs> so I have all sorts of colors to play with there, gold and silver and kind of a antique gold. So I'm going to set those up there. I also grabbed, because I knew in this one bag, this is from Rust Paper Scissors on Etsy. She had some rusty ones and I thought, ooh, wouldn't that be fun? So she's, I think there's four of them in this bag. Yes. So I want to use those rusty ones too. That'd be fun. Okay. So I'm going to try and kind of keep the, um, 
keep in mind the journals that I have coming up and grab some things that would go with them. Um, oh, I also have from Journey of Crafting these um, little bits of laces. She also has bits of doilies. And this is bits of fabric and doily. So really everything you need in here to, to make one. So yeah, so anyway, there's that. And these are from Saved by Grace. I thought they maybe could be fun too, like on the top, if I can get into the sack. These are little like stamped, I don't know, they're colored. I think these might be from Taperlogy possibly. But that would be fun kind of as the top. Let's do one of those just for fun. Okay, so I'm just gonna start grabbing. There's a pe nice piece of lace. Could grab that. And I need a fabric to go in the back. And I kind of want something either green or, ooh, that's a fun one. We could play with that later. There's this one, that doesn't go. Just gonna dig in my scraps till I find what I want. Ooh, possibly this. Can't really see it though. I think that's too pretty to hide, but those are good sizes. Let's see what's in this little stack. Nope, 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 and nope. Ooh, this is pretty. What if we we could do that? But I think I might like like a longer lace down this way. I don't know if any of these are long enough. I don't think so. Might have to get into my regular lace. I think so. Okay. So. the right color maybe I don't know it's not bad but okay I've got some lace bits here let's grab these just so I have have some options maybe I just want a whitish about that long yeah, I like how that white makes this white kind of pop. Okay. Okay, so cut this off. And I might do I might do one of these bright ones because it kind of bounces off the yellow a little bit. So then you just put your teeth over over your all your fabrics like so and you grab your needle nose pliers and you squeeze it closed. Easy as that. I like that one. It's simple but it's pretty. I don't know that I'd want to hang anything down from this because of um, it would cover up the flower, but maybe a button there would be kind of nice. And we, let's see here, uh, buttons. Buttons. This is my big sack. Where'd I get this? Vintage Market, I think. I don't even know what all's in here, but we'll, we'll see. It's cute. 
teal, but not quite, not quite the right color. That's purple. Maybe I just want a. Oof, that one is old, old, old. It's and it's pretty. Let's use that. Now I need to decide. I kind of, in some ways, I don't really want to put a thread through it because it's really grungy and cool. But you can let's see. Where's one? like this, you can put a little thread through. I think I might. Let's see how it looks. If we don't like it, we'll take it out. Um, what I want is, I use this. This is, I. it's for book binding, but um, I don't, I like to use the, uh, the stuff that is waxed. I used to use this back in the day. A little fiddly. And rather than the four, I'm just gonna go, just gonna go through this one so that the other grunginess shows. I don't know if I can get it through there. I should have like a Oh, there we go. Um, I was thinking I should have had my needle threader or something. Okay, so let's just tie this. <laughs> Annoyed by my sleeves. Oh. So I hope you're having a good day. I'm having a great day. I'm still on my day where... I just have nothing to do but make videos, so nothing to do but play in my craft room. Love it. Okay, I don't, I'm not super dex, dextra, dex, I don't have a lot of dexterity anymore, so this might take a minute. Excuse me. But... It's cute with a little bow put through if one can do it. Okay, come on, Gail. You can do this. Hey, yeah. Come here. There it is. There it is. Okay, now I'm just going to adjust the size a bit and clip that. Okay, and then that will go there. I do like it with the bow in it. And I'm just going to use a little skosh of Fabri-Tac and glue it on there. You could sew it on there if you were so inclined. Okay. Okay, there's one done. Okay, we'll make a little stack of the ones we do over here okay let's see here that would be that would be fun one wouldn't it um ooh, yeah get on a roll here How about a little, little doily on this too or something? I mean, this is, it's very, a lot of white going on. So maybe we need a little pink like behind that or something. Yeah, that's nice. I just stack them up until I'm happy. And I think I'm happy with that already. I think what I want is a fairly, I think I'm going to use 
silver, but I want a long one, a longer one. This one's about an inch, I think, in order to grab those little, little spindly things on the doily. Hopefully I can do this. If I lay it down, I'll have better luck. Um, can I use my scissors to poke that under? That was good. That was a good stroke. Okay. Man, you can't do it with your fingers. Got to use this. Oh, gosh. Stay there. Stay there. I have to lift it up, which is the hard part. Yes, got him. <laughs> Get in there, little guys. Get in there. We just want to make sure that doily holds, you know? Okay, got it. Well, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? So, I think more on that. Um... Let me get my bulb pins. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to hang something down rather than like an att attach a button on there. Okay. Grab a silver one. Now, what would we like to have hanging down there. You know, I have a thought. Let me just grab something. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm back. I have this little bowl of dangles and charms and whatnot that I have made over the years, other people have have made. I mean, look at how beautiful that is. Oh wow, that's gotta be it. Okay, so let's see if we can get this put together. Oh, that, that turned out really cool. I love that one. Let's see. Do I want to pull that that way? It's just, it's laying funky, which maybe it's just bound to. I don't know. Just have to kind of lay it like that, I guess. But anyway, I like that one. That's fun. Oh, okay, okay. What do we want to do? I want some, something with roses on it. Because I know I have a rose journal coming up. How about, not that one. Where'd it go? It was a black piece. Just see in all of my this one has roses on it. Okay. That's a little different going with black, isn't it? Okay. Um Ooh, that's cool and grungy. Oh, okay. I'm going off in a different direction because I just found this stuff. And I'm thinking with a rusty clip, it would be really fun. Got some coffee dyed here. I 
Okay. Then I've got some, this is a piece of the spine of a book. Could be cool. And then there's this, which is, I forget the name of it. Um, often our friend Emily at Vintage Polka Dot Shop has this stuff. I forget what it's called now. But I think if we just kind of layer some of this up, it could be cool. Okay, I feel like it needs something that's almost like a focal point going down the middle of it. So do we want like another piece of this? Okay, so a grungy one. All styles are welcome in the land of clustery things. Isn't it just so fun to work with scraps? I just think it's the best. Okay, so I don't know if I have anything here that's, oh, look, here's a ribbon crimp that's got a bell on it. Isn't that cute? But it's kind of already squished. I'm not quite sure how I'll use that. Just looking through my stuff from Rust Paper Scissors. Oh, what about one of these? Wait a sec. I have this I made at the retreat that could hang off of there. Let me use. Got to punch a hole in it. Boy, I'd have just, just about every supply I own out right now. Okay. Over here. Okay. Got a hole. Um, I don't think I have a rusty bulb clip, but... This is about as close to grungy as I have. You know what I might do is just pin it on and then it will it will go flatter. Like that. That's a fun one. Different, huh? I mean, I'm going from shabby chic to grungy to, <laughs> I don't know, all sorts of things. But so much fun. Ooh, that's a cool piece. That's a, that's a Kathy Holden piece right there. So what that is. Um, what is this pink? No. Um, um, um. What do we want to put on it, though? Oh, look, I have a little, I'll have a little ruffle. That'd be cute, wouldn't it? Yeah, we need to add some lace to the mix, but I think I'll use that little bit of a ruffle on there. Okay, I gotta put my sleeves back down. I'm getting cold. Um, let's just use a bit of... This and then that. I 
it gives a little piece of lace hanging down so you can see it. And if I put this over to the side a little bit, it's a little thick. That's my only concern. But I'm also thinking I've got this Rick Rack, which kind of screams Kathy Holden to me for some reason. Maybe because it says vintage. I don't know. I'm thinking about putting that down the middle of there. And then maybe we'll add uh, like a, a button or something. Am I going to be? Yes, I am going to be able to get all that in there. Okay. So you can see they kind of come, you know, they kind of come together if you can don't take too too long trying to figure out what you want to put with what. <laughs> okay. So there is that. I think I don't know. It needs something else. It needs a button or something. Um, I'm not sure. There's a yellow one. That could be. I think I'll put a button on there. Will you bear with me again while I do this? This button's a little more friendly. It's its holes are bigger than that other one was. My aim's not any better though. <laughs> oh dear. Okay. Oh, these are so fun, you guys. Yeah, and the, the first ribbon crimps I ever got were uh, in a package at Joann's is where I got them. They were in the jewelry section. And um, so, oh my goodness, Gail, just so uncoordinated. I think it's an age thing. Do you? I I don't know. I'm just I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> oh. Okay, come on. Oh, we're close. Oh, we're close. Yes. Got it. Now I just have to scale it back a bit. Okay. All right. And then just kind of pop that right there, I think. And that, that's a happy little one, too. I'm going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac on that um, thread. And this way, if I just pop that there then it'll still kind of flippy uppy and stuff. Okay, there's that one. All right, back to the roses. Back to the roses. I think I'm going to take this off. Just a little spot where my quilter friends were ripping something out. Bless their hearts. I still don't know how they do that. I'd be like, okay, I'm done. <laughs> I tried it and it didn't work. And so I'm done. I think I'll cut that right there. I really like that against the black. So... I don't know if that needs a whole lot more other than I'm going to look in here and see if there's something that would go with it. Oh, that's pretty. Let's see. Don't want the blue. 
One of these days we'll have to make some of these. I know I have videos out there, but it'd be fun to make some. That's really thick. Sometimes that's a consideration too. Actually, this one would be good for Christmas. I'm going to put that one on there. haven't used these in forever either. You know, you just kind of, I don't know, I, at, at least I do. I do the same thing over and over. That's why I love having these, um, you know, like Forgotten Friends Fridays and Scrappy Saturday. It makes me think, okay, what haven't I played with in a while? Okay, so that's there. I do think I'm going to pin this like I did the other one. Go ahead and um, pin it on the fabric rather. Well, well, we'll see. We'll see how it does. So I have some silver ones in this little bag. I might as well get them out of the bag. Okay. Now, do I want it in here? Let's try it. See how it is. Yeah, and then you could just pin that on to something else. That's just two pieces, but I love that. Okay. Okay, what else do we have that is inspiring? I love these, too, these fabrics. I'll snip that off again. One of the gals at my friend's last retreat, she she likes to just kind of, you know, have a rest from what she's doing. So she's always like, if anybody needs any ripping out, I'll do it. <laughs> I'm like, eh, no, thank you for me. I don't want to do it. That covers it up too much, but I like the thickness of that. Needs like something bright behind it. I was just looking to see if I had the right side. That's kind of nice. We'll just put that there for the moment. Looks like I have some. Ooh, this is flannel. That's cool. But that really matches the butterflies. Every time I pick something to work on, I end up going, grabbing something else, don't I? I'm going to put that little seam over the top. Okay. And do we have, what do we have in here that might be fun to put? Yes, please. I'm going to put a flatter side though so I can. Nope, I like it like that. This side looks like I might be able to grab more. Okay. That is fun. I'm wondering if I want something kind of dangling down that area. That's a bit darker. What's this? Let me cut this off of here. Again, it's one of my pieces from my quilter friends. I'm going to do that. Okay. Just got to get everything tucked up under there to make sure it catches. Okay. I think we're good. Let's decide what color crimp. I think this color. Hmm. 
Yep. Use a table to kind of stabilize it all. Okay. I like that one. I like that one just as it is. Okay, back to this one. <laughs> I do have this little, this little bit of a ruffle too. Maybe we could pop that together with something. Um, excuse me, guys. I gotta turn on my heater. My feet are freezing. So if we put that and we put that, I feel like I kind of want something else hanging down. This is a cool piece. This would be cool on something. Is that blue? Hmm. Um, look at these. Those are fun, aren't they? I want this to be a little bit longer. What else do we have in here? So many fun little scrappy things. Oh, look, burlap. Those of you that have been here for a while are like, yeah, Gail. Oh, look at this. I could use this little five on something. I don't know. I'm not loving this. This is kind of not coming together like I want it to. Ooh, maybe this bit. No, then it covers up all the fabric. It's trouble. Maybe I just need to be kind of happy with that. I think I'm going to be happy with that. I'm just going to use a little guy. I don't need much. Perfect. I automatically grab my scissors instead of my needle nose here. That one's just, that's that one's a work in progress, kind of. Maybe not. and how that's laying. So, what do we do? We'll just, we'll just hang it off the ruffle. See how that looks. Yeah, different, fun. Okay, how are we doing time-wise? I really do get a lot. Oh, good, we've got time. I'd like to use this on something, but I want to find... I don't know what. I want to find. Ooh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? We could do a long one. Should we do a long one? something to hang down there. I 
then you can't see the fancy ones as well. guy's getting bigger and bigger as we go. Okay, but I like that better. Oops. Okay. I like that. I think I'm just going to do that. Um, I think I need this color one of these big ones. Okay, get in there. Okay. Gotta turn it sideways so I can get to it. I didn't get that in the middle. But it's okay. I feel like I want something over here. I'm going to grab a bow pin. And... What if I grabbed just some other laces? Maybe do I want a little piece of a little piece of that? I don't know. I don't know, just plain. Sorry, I'm mumbling. Mumbling Gale. Uh, maybe a button. No, but I like that, so I'm going to keep that. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like this needs something else. Does it need, like, could I just glue some lace across or something? Not that one. to think about it but but there we go okay this guy is a good size but he's not inspiring me so I'm gonna move it along oh there's a fun little Kathy Holden purple piece a purple piece that's cute on there sure that needs much else but this fun piece that'd be fun to use on something okay I'm just gonna clamp that together and call that one done I think
See, that one would be cute on a tag. And you, when you put the bulb pin on for this, you could put a button on there or something too. That would be cute. So, okay. I would like to use this. It's very beautiful. This is kind of pretty. I kind of want a dark because I think this would show up really good. I don't know. I'm coming up with too many things that are just like two color, two um ooh, there's a rose one. I know I have that coming up that. I am going to get this one right here. Okay, that one See, if I do that, that kind of covers up the rows. But this one, you can't even tell. Okay, so we'll do this one with this. That is pretty. Do we have any more of this? Ooh, that's very rich looking, isn't it? Rich colors. I feel like I want, yeah. like that to go right to about there. Time is it? Ooh, running out of time, aren't I? Okay. I am going to put that one together like that. Gosh, I could just play with these for days. I think I want... I want silver. Yes. Okay, that one makes me happy. That's a pretty one. Okay, let's see. This is this is a nice size, too. Let's see. Oh, look at this. Old vintage lace. That's cool on there. Maybe that and a doily. Not a huge one. Can't really see that. out here. That and then put that so you can see it better. Just making sure I had the right side, which I do. That's kind of pretty. Okay, I'm going to use use a long one on that just so it grabs more of this lacy thing.
Okay. There we go. That's more like it. And there's that one. Cool. Should we look at what we did? Probably. Oh, well, maybe we have time for one more. If I'm not too slow at it. looking for something different. Oh, those are pretty. Look at that one. Isn't that pretty? Ah! Dropping things. Have I mentioned lately how much I love my quilter friends that give me their scraps? Oh, so great. little bit off. Maybe we could go like that. Maybe like that. Those are just bright and happy, aren't they? I just have to remember to look at these. When I'm pulling things out for journals, I need to look at these in, for like right when I do the fabric Ooh. right when I do the fabric flips. Does that kind of give that a background? I feel like it does. Okay. Okay. Covered up too much. are going to have to say stop already on this because I'm just having too much fun. Ooh, there it is. There it is. Okay, cut that off right here. Alrighty then. I was noticing there's this little bitty kind of yellowish one. I'm going to use that there. Okay. Um, I'm feeling maybe gold with this one. Right. That one's just kind of sweet. I don't know. Okay, let's see what all we did. I'm going to put my rusty ones in there and just scooch a few things out, out my way. Put these back in the scraps. Okay, we did quite a few, you guys. I'm excited. So I'll kind of hold them up so they're closer so you can see. So that's the one we just did. Just love those happy fabrics. And then this was one rose one. This is another rose one. And again, we could add buttons or dangles or something to that. There's that one. I wonder if we have a purple dangle. Just gonna look through that's purple but a weird color of purple hmm. there seems to be a shortage of purple in my world so what's this there it is Sorry, adding, 
Just adding a little something to this one. There's that one. This one that I'm still not kind of sure about. I mean, it might be fine just as is. They don't all have to be super fancy, I guess. There's that one. And this guy. The black, the black and red rose one. This little Kathy Holden one is just happy. A grungy one. I love that. Love that grungy one. I'll put that with my grungy journal stuff. This one that just got all sorts of gorgeousness hanging off of it. <laughs> And then this was our first one with the little, um, the little stamped piece of paper or piece of fabric. Sorry. Yeah. So there we go. What do we do? Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Even dozen. I'd say it's great time to stop. So thanks everybody so much for being with me. I hope you have a great weekend. Have a grateful day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.